picking up right where we left off. Um, what if the question asked, instead of just identifying, you know, which one's excess and which one's limiting, they wanted to know how much of the excess reactant is left over? Well, to do that, super easy. Once you figure out what your limiting reactant is, then you need to find out how much of your excess reactant is going to be used up with it, and you do that using stoichiometry. And then once you have that, subtract the amount from the amount that you were given to begin with. Just like with the sandwiches where, you know, you, you figured out which ingredients were going to be left over and how much you were going to have left over, we do the exact same thing here. So our example, same exact reaction. We want to know how many grams of our excess, excuse me, reactant will be left over. So uh, if you remember your equation, it was 4HF plus SiO2 yields two waters and one silicon tetrafluoride. So how many grams of SI2 will be left over? We need to figure out how many we're gonna use up to begin with. So we take the 2.51 grams of our limiting reactant, hydrogen fluoride, and we are going to convert this to grams of silicon dioxide. So if you remember, the molar mass of HF was 20.09 to every mole. Then our mole ratio up here, four moles HF to every one mole SiO2. And then to figure out our mass of SiO2, each mole of SiO2 has a mass of 60.09 grams. Now we get to simplify. Cross out grams of HF, cross out gram, moles of HF, cross out moles of SiO2, and we're left with grams of SiO2, which is what we want. And then plug this into the calculator, 2.51 times 60.09 divided by basically 80, 20.09 times 4, uh, and I get 1.88 grams SiO2. Well, the question asks how many grams are left over. Well, if I started with 4.56 grams and I used up 1.88, well, to figure out what's left over, you just simply subtract. Okay, so what if instead of being asked how much of your excess you're going to have left over, what if they actually wanted you to calculate, come on, there we go, how much product you're going to make? Well, it's just as simple. You start your conversion with the limiting reactant again. Once you know your limiting reactant, that's the one that you're going to start with every time. And then again, you just use your stoichiometry and convert to the amount of product. Now the amount could be, uh, right now it'll either be in moles or grams. Later on it could be in liters, it could be in concentration, it could be, um, oh that's about it. <laughs> But right now, we're just sticking to moles and grams. We'll, we'll throw in volume and concentration later. Um, so same example, same exact reaction, just sticking with the same thing. I want to know how many grams of water are we going to make? So our reaction was 4HF plus SiO2 yields two waters and an SiF4. So we start with our limiting reactant, which was the HF. So 2.51 grams of HF, and we're going to convert that to grams of water. So our molar mass was 20.09, and this is where I'm serious about it's getting repetitive. Whenever you're still dealing with the same situation, answering multiple questions about the same um, reaction, it does get very, very repetitive, um, which is nice in the fact that it, it gets really easy, but, you know, sometimes kind of annoying because you're like, oh, I just wrote that. Um, our mole ratio here is still 4 to 2, so 4 moles HF to every 2 moles of water. And yeah, you know, we'd done this part earlier and calculated moles of water, so if you want to take that, I think it was 0 0.06 something or other, and just convert it directly to mass, you could do that. But I'm just rewriting it all out, just, you know, for grins and giggles. So each mole of, ox of water has a mass of 18.02 grams. And we plug that into our nifty little calculator, 2.51 times 2 times 18.02 
close parentheses, divide and open parentheses. 20.09 times 4, close parentheses. And I get 1.13 1, grams of water. And if you like the whole crossing out thing, then yeah, you, know, you can go cross out happy here. It's always nice. Kind of fun to cross stuff out. We can reduce right here. Which would have made the math just a touch easier, but not really. Okay, so those are the three types of questions that you could possibly be answered, or you could possibly be asked about limiting reactants. And all I have left is just uh, two more examples of the exact same stuff, just with uh, this time different reactions. So a reaction was done with this many grams of C6H6, which is benzene, and 41 grams of oxygen. There's your reaction. I want to know first, what's the limiting reactant? And then second, how much of the excess reactant is left over? I should put my period right there. Um, so first, limiting reactant. 36.8 grams C6H6. So we're going to convert that to mass or moles of a product. And I'll go ahead and convert it to CO2 since that's what's first. Um, C6H6 has a molar mass of 78.12 grams of benzene per mole. And our mole ratio is 2 to 12. And we can stop right there. And then our second calculation is going to be with 41.0 grams of O2. And oxygen has a molar mass of 32.0 grams per mole. Mole ratio here, 15 moles of O2. To every, we're going to CO2, so 12 moles. CO2. And then we plug both of these in. You can do your little cross outs. That makes you feel better. Sometimes it's kind of fun to cross all this stuff out. Kind of reminds me of algebra whenever you would solve problems and everything canceled out and like your answer was one. So doing the top one, 36.8 times 12 divided by 78.12. And I get 2.83 up here. And then down on the bottom, 41 times 12 divided by 32 and 15. And I get 1.02, well, 03. So you just look at these two numbers and go, okay, which one's lower? Well, this one's lower, so that means oxygen is your limiting reactant. Granted, in the real world, oxygen is not really ever going to be your limiting reactant, but in this particular case, it is. So oxygen's our limiting reactant, so O2. And now to find the amount of, of benzene that's left over, we have to redo these calculations. So let me erase my pen here. Our limiting reactant was O2. So now we got to figure out, well, if we use all of this O2, how much benzene are we going to use with it? So you just set up your stoichiometry, starting with your limiting reactant and converting to mass of benzene. So first you have your molar mass. And then your mole ratio. And then your molar mass of the benzene. So we plug that in. 41 times 2 times 78.12 divided by 32 times 15. And I get 13.3 grams of benzene. So to figure out what's left over, you just take your 36.8 that you started with and subtract what you're going to use up. And you have 23.5 grams of benzene left over. Last example, uh, if this reaction just basically the formation of rust, begins with 51 grams of iron and 37 grams of oxygen. Answering these three questions, what's the limiting reactant, how many grams of excess reactant are left over, and how many grams of iron three oxide can be formed? Might have to do a part three. Yep, I'm going to have to do a part three on this one. So part three will be working out this particular uh, question.